Hi, and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're doing part two of our ultimate guide to Samplitude Pro X6 from Magix. We're going to talk about the timeline and the mixer. We're going to import some files and try to mix a bit of them. Just very basic things. And I'm going to try to keep this video very short comparing to the last one. Part one was very long. If you want to listen to it, go click and uh, listen to the first part. It will explain uh, the inputs, outputs, and how to do your first recording. Um, so go ahead. If not, let's dive in for the part two. All right, we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna name it part two and put it in our beginner simplitude uh, folder. Part two. Okay. Like this. And we're gonna load up some tracks that I downloaded free. Uh, you can download them as well and make some uh, mix exercise. I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, and I know that those tracks, there's four different tracks. It's a very simple song. So I'm going to add two other tracks. What I just did is I hit control and the plus sign. But this is um, a special key that I assigned to my keyboard. So let's check how I did that. Hit Y on your keyboard and then go into um, keyboard menu and mouse and then keyboard menu. And this is where you can assign anything to it. So what I did, I went here on insert a new track and I assigned control plus to it. Okay, so what you can do is choose, let's say, insert track. And then if you click in that area, you can hit the keys that you want to use. Control plus like this. And you click on assign. And now I'm going to replace the one that I created before. So let's try it. Control plus on the keyboard. Yes. It added a, a track there. Okay, so uh, we have only four tracks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this one. Right click, delete tracks, and then I'm gonna go for the tracks that I downloaded. Here they are. If there was a lot of track, I would put some numbers in it to choose the order at which they would be imported in Samplitude to make it in order. So let's say there's some uh, drum tracks, uh, bass, guitar, and stuff like that. So I would start with 0, 1, space, bass drum, let's say, and then 0, 2, space, snare and so on so when i import the tracks they will come in the right order in those lines there so what we can do is directly hold the left button and drag them so the first thing the software will ask is how those tracks should be arranged um, you have the choice to put them in a row or on different tracks. That's what we're going to do. All right. And now uh, if we push play, you should hear something. There's a lot of things that can be done on a timeline. Uh, to me, the first thing that I do is rename the tracks. So acoustic one and two, and then we have 
vocal Leslie Leslie <laughs> and vocal Steve vocal Steve you can even uh, assign some colors if you have many tracks you can have all the drums at in one color and the uh, the bass at one color so it's easier to work with I have a few videos on the channel with full mix um, be done and that's the first thing I do every time you may want to check them and uh, let's say the acoustic guitars we're gonna put them uh, at green and then the vocals blue um, oh, let's say violet like this all right then uh, you can change the volume change the panning uh, you on the tracks you can add some plugins as well uh, and we did explore in the first video all those the inputs the outputs mono midi and stuff like that um, and while mixing you may want to use the mixer uh, the mixer is based on a hardware mixer like they use on live shows so uh, the audio file will enter the signal here there's a gain knob and after that auxiliary which allows you to send um, the signal to another place that you can decide uh, but if you don't do anything uh, it will go into the plugins into the uh, AQ and there's a fader here that will change the level going to the output that is named at the bottom uh, I chose to send it to a main bus and this main bus auxiliary output auxiliary send is going to this auxiliary bus and the output is going to a separate output the reason is it is going to OBS to be recorded you don't need to do that if you don't need multiple outputs physical outputs of course uh, but this allows me to change the master level without changing the recording in OBS so if I hit play I change the master volume and there's nothing uh, changing for you in your ears let's uh, play with the mixer a tiny bit first thing I hear is those two guitars plays uh, different partitions so they can be maybe spread left and right so we're gonna do that to those who believe in the things we cannot see It seems that the guitar is playing as well in the vocal mic. Let's listen to it again. And then uh, on the Steve's vocal. Yeah, as well. So this complicates stuff. Uh, bleeding from mics to mics if you want to mix. So what I should do is go into a place where the guitar and the vocal are playing at the same time and try to balance the level. So now I'm using a controller so you will see those fader move but they are controlled uh, not with my mouse but with the controller, okay? So let's see. Wish I never knew what I now understand So you see what I did? I changed the levels and I changed the uh, the, the panning, and that's it. Uh, it's it already sounds better again. Wish I never knew what I now 
Okay, we could work a bit of the EQ. Uh, I think that Steve could be a bit clearer. Wish I never knew what I now understand. You can do it with the onboard EQ right here. Uh, there's some uh, frequency already set. You can drag up and down to change them. Uh, or if you want to go simpler, just right click on the little square and it will open the AQ like this. So let's listen. Wish I never knew what I now understand. Why every grain of truth is slipping through my head. I, I'm just always trying to get back to the start. It sounds a bit nasal. We're going to try to uh, fix that as well. Wish I never knew what I now understand. And why every grain of truth is slipping through my hand. And I Let's listen to the old mix. Wish I never knew. Okay, so that's a little mix. We can add maybe a, an ambient sound, like a reverb. So on my auxiliary bus here, I'm gonna add a reverb. Uh, let's go to one included in Samplitude. Reverb. Okay, and we're gonna choose... <laughs> A vocal plate, maybe. Let's put it in maximum mix. Uh, this allows you to uh, enter the original signal into the output of the plugin. But since we are on a bus already, we're going to put it in maximum. And we're going to send some of the vocal tracks to this bus uh, right here auxiliary one, aux one. We're going to start, uh, let's see, uh, around nine, like this. And if we solo now the reverb only, not bad. Let's see with the mix. A good trick with the reverb, you put the level down and then you uh, push it up slowly until you hear it. And then you can just go down a tiny bit afterward. So it will give you some natural sound. Of course, you can go the extreme. Uh, it's a um, creative thing. Uh, for me, I like it to be natural. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play. Which I Okay, maybe a bit on the guitars now. Maybe like this. Wish I never so you just saw some very simple mixing. There's a lot of tricks you can do with the timeline once this is done, uh, like automating some levels. Right here, this little arrow, if you click on it, it will show you the automation lane. And then you get to choose what you want to automate. 
click on the effect and you can choose volume panning uh, and bunch of stuff even the eq can be uh, automated for now we want some volumes and as you see it creates a line and you can select the part that you want like this and go and change the level of just this part actually we could bump up the level for the first part it will be better like this maybe and if you want more precision you can go there hold your cursor push down the left button of your mouse and drag down and then what it does is you have more precision to where you're going with uh, the changes so maybe like this let's listen to the old thing to those who believe in the things we cannot see may god provide you okay so those uh two guitars there aren't that loud so that's what we're going to do we're going to choose volume volume and this will go up and this will go up as well how about this to those who believe in the things we cannot see May God provide you everything you need Good or bad, right or wrong, and nothing in between Okay, and uh, I guess we're going to do the same thing here. Let's listen. To those who never dwell on their own mortality. Okay, so we're gonna push it up right here and then here and here a tiny bit too let's listen to those who believe in the things we cannot see may god provide you everything you need So that's it. Um, you learned a bit more about the timeline and the mixer. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, if I did explain something not very well or you need more explanation, go ahead. In the next video, we might um, talk about tracking. Uh, if you do multiple takes, um, the takes, the take composer can help you choose which part you want to keep in your takes. Um, it's a bit more advanced, but a pretty nice feature to explore. So if you did like the video, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, go into the description and click on the merch link, whatever fits your bill, it will help 
the channel grow and give you better content. And another way to help the channel is to share those videos and click on as many as you want. So see you for the next one.